Sales of the most popular hatch derivative reached a peak of 44,560 in the UK in 2015, but by last year that figure had fallen by 10%. Mini hopes a refreshed headlight design, tail lights that incorporate a union flag motif, a handful of new wheel and color options, piano black, rather than chrome, trim and much more besides will help push those sales figures back up. Outwardly, those curious real lights which might seem a touch crass in the UK but will probably work better on the continent and beyond, are the clearest markers of the updated model. Otherwise, this is one of the more subtle facelifts of recent memory. There is more going on within the cockpit and beneath the skin, however, with the high-quality cabin now available with a touchscreen as well as wireless phone charging the new lights front and rear use LEDs, with very clever adaptive LED headlights now featuring on the options list there are new personalization options, too, including a number of 3D printed parts that buyers can customize with their own name or simple graphics. A world first in the car industry the standard transmission on this Cooper S is a 6-speed manual, but for the first time the two-pedal alternative is a 7-speed twin-clutch gearbox rather than a conventional auto. The revised 4-cylinder turbo engine gets new, high-pressure injectors, a new exhaust system and a new turbocharger, two power and torque figures remain the same at 189 bhp and 221 pounds foot but fuel economy has improved by around 7%. Interestingly, the updated engine is said to be up to 30 kilograms heavier than before, the suspension has been tweaked to account for that extra weight with each new version of the BMW era mini, the cutesy hatchback has swollen in size it looks fuller and more bulbous than the 2001 original, and perhaps not as well proportioned, but there's no mistaking it for anything else the underlying dynamic character is broadly the same now as it was 17 years ago, bundles of agility, a darty front axle, mobile rear end, but this latest model actually feels quite different out on the road compared with that first version. There's a soft, rubbery edge to all of the major controls, whereas earlier versions had crisp steering and slick gear shifts soon enough, though, you get used to the stiction and springiness in the steering and the inconsistently weighted manual gear shift, and you get on with the important business of pedaling it along as quickly as you dare. Dynamically, nothing has really changed you still feel the trademark mini pivot the instant you turn into a corner, sensing the outside rear corner scudding around slightly to keep the front end on a tight line the steering is still quick and direct, and whatever work minis engineers have done to disguise that extra weight over the front axle has been extremely effective for the first few miles. You feel perched high up on the seat. The way the car leans in bends gives the impression of it being quite tall, too, and of the track widths being very narrow you find yourself wishing the car would squat down by an inch or two, whereas previous generations sat you so low to the road you worried you might scrape your own rear end on speed bumps again, though, that impression does pass very quickly and when the bends come thick and fast you stop thinking about it entirely instead, you revel in the car's agility and its eagerness to dart from one apex to the next the familiar sense of the car yawing about its gear lever the moment you turn into a corner is addictive. The sport driving mode introduces too much dead weight to the steering, but otherwise the helm is accurate enough that you can place the car with real precision corner after corner our test car was fitted with Pile P0 tires they were grippy in the dry and reasonably stable in hard cornering, although there are other high performance tires at this level that would deflect even less and bring yet more precision it should also be noted that three other tire options have been homologated for the Cooper S, one being the Michelin Primacy, a mid-range tire that has no place on a hot hatch like this one relatively firm springing and a shortish wheelbase cause the Cooper S to rock front to rear and bounce around on a rough road, like a small boat being tossed around in a storm it isn't exactly uncomfortable, but the ride is certainly busy all things considered. However, the Cooper S is a brilliantly entertaining thing to thrash along a winding road. A mechanical limited slip differential would help it claw itself out of bends more quickly and add a new dimension to the driving experience but, sadly, there's no factory option. The engine, meanwhile, is brawny and muscular, but it's no rev happy screamer. In fact, having started pulling hard from 2500 revolutions per minute, it's done its best work by 5,500 revolutions per minute, so you don't chase the red line like you would in many other hot hatches out on the road. 
you find yourself holding on to higher gears and leaning on the slug of turbocharged torque instead aside from that initial sense of sitting a little too high off the ground. The Cooper S is a hoot to drive in the finest quick mini tradition what's most impressive about it, though, is that it combines its willing and effervescent character with a refined, grown-up demeanor when you just want to get to where you're going. Other hot hatches at this price point. The Peugeot 208 for instance, are more sheer fun to drive, trading as they do some everyday refinement for single-minded, hard-edged thrills. But none of them matches the Cooper S's broad spread of talents and none has a cabin that feels quite as high-end as this one. The Cooper S might not be the best hot hatch at this money, but it could well be the best all-rounder where Mallorca, Spain, price £20,630, on sale now, engine turbocharged 4-cylinder, 1,998cc, petrol, power 189 bhp at 5,000 to 6,000 revolutions per minute, torque 221 pounds foot at 1,250 revolutions per minute. Gearbox 6 speed manual, curb weight 1265 kilograms, top speed 146 miles per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour 6.8 seconds, fuel economy 47.1 mile per gallon, CO2 138 grams slash km, rivals Peugeot 208 Ford Fiesta ST.